This is the 2012-2013 SCAC Women's Basketball Media Day podcast. Today we're joined by Colorado College Head Women's Basketball Coach Liz Doran. And Liz, uh, thanks again so much for taking time to, uh, out of your schedule to talk to us today. Sure thing. My pleasure, Jeff. Uh, Liz, take us through your mindset as you begin uh, your fifth year as the head coach at Colorado College. Oh, every year is it's fun when we start October 15th. It's new mentality, new energy, new kids. And our, our senior class this year is really raring to go. Uh, Liz, take us through your mind, uh, excuse me, not the mindset, but how's preseason practice going so far? Uh, obviously, at this point, as we speak, uh, just about a week or so away from the start of the season, I'm sure uh, coaches and, uh, and players especially are, are looking forward to uh, playing against and coaching against uh, someone other than themselves. Oh, definitely. We had our first scrimmage last Saturday, and we'll scrimmage again this Saturday. And the the energy and effort from the team was, was phenomenal. They're absolutely ready to go. As a coach, you never quite feel like you're ready for that first game, but it, it will be a nice break to be able to play against somebody else. This is the 2012-2013 SCAC Women's Basketball Media Day podcast. Today we're joined by Liz Doran, Colorado College head coach. Uh, Liz, you lose two key all-SCAC performers from a year ago, and Becky Litchin and Jordy Stevenson. Talk a little bit about what their graduation uh, is going to do, and how do you replace uh, veteran leadership like that? Oh, it's tough. I mean, Becky was was key for us for all four years when she was here, and then Jordy really emerged and had a phenomenal senior season. You know, looking around the conference, we probably got hit harder by graduation than just about anybody in the league. So we definitely have some some big shoes to fill in in the loss of all three of our seniors. And then Jen Knapp, the one you didn't mention, didn't show up on the stat sheet a ton, but was was a great leader. But our our rising seniors really have have stepped up and recognized that. Now it's on them to to lead this squad, and, and they're playing great. Um, Marissa is playing probably the best basketball she's played in her four years here. Uh, Callie's back and healthy and uh, playing great as well, and Sarah Gunkel's looking to pick up where she left off last season. Uh, Liz, uh, obviously you talk about uh, the difficulty in replacing seniors uh, that you just mentioned, but your team is a is relatively uh, upper-class-led team. Talk a little bit about how much that helps that transition. Oh, it's, it's huge. The upperclassmen really understand what SCAC basketball is all about, and I think it'll pay big dividends for us when we get into the heart of our schedule. They know just how difficult it is to, to go on the road and play a tough team on Friday and turn around and play a tough team again on either Saturday or Sunday. They know what it's all about, and that experience makes it a little bit easier for the rookies to get on board and understand the big picture. Uh, Liz, uh, the team won five of its last seven games to close out last season. Where, uh, how do you pick up and how, how do you begin the season trying to pick up right where uh, the Tigers left off last season? Well, we have, we have quite a tough non-conference schedule, so we're going to do everything we can to get ourselves playing our best basketball by the time Austin rolls into Colorado Springs in, in December. But we'll kind of be a new look with, without our, our seniors from last year and with new kids stepping into, into different roles. We'll try to match the energy and effort and execution that we had at the end of the season, and I think that'll be key for us to continue the success we wrapped up last year with. Uh, finally, Liz, what's going to be a few keys as the Tigers uh, look to improve upon a 14-12 and 12 record from a year ago? Uh, we just have to get more consistent on the defensive end. You know, we had some games where we just played played great defensively and then others where we let teams just kind of do what they wanted to do. We've got to step up our intensity and then turn that into consistency on the defensive end and then just continue with good shot selection that we, we really got into towards the end of last year. Colorado College head women's basketball coach Liz Doran and our Tigers uh, – Open up the season November 16th and 17th at home against the College of St. Benedict and McAllister. Uh, Liz, again, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. Uh, we much appreciate it, and best of luck to the Tigers in 2012-13. Yeah.